after seeing all the metadata of a particular class, now I want to get metadata of all the variables of the respective class employee. By using Reflection API, I want to get metadata of the respective variables which are available in the respective class. For example, I have taken class employee. This is class employee. Inside this class employee, I am going to declare number of variables. What are the variables I declared? No? Public int employee number. All right. Better to declare public static. If you want to get the value of this one, we need to use like this. It must be declared as static. Next one, static string employee name is equal to AA for example. Next one, static string employee address is equal to hello watch. Like this we have taken, three variables we have taken there. Now my requirement is which one? I want to get metadata of the all the three variables. If you want to get metadata of these three variables, first we have to prepare class object with respect to employee class. Already understood, there are three ways to get a class object with respect to employee class. First one is class dot for name method. Second one is get class method. And third one is by using dot class file name class variable inside this employee class. First we need to get class object. That is step number one. So for the purpose what you are able to do now? Now directly employee e is equal to new employee. Then after that class c is equal to e dot get class. We can use either of this method. After getting this class object I want to get all the variables metadata in the form of field array. To get all the variables metadata in the form of field array, we need to use a method. Two methods here we need to use field array FLDS is equal to C dot get to fields method. This is one thing. And another one field array FLDS is equal to C dot get a declared fields method we are able to use. Two methods we are able to use then. One is get a fields method, another one is get a declared fields method we need to use. So here there is a question for us. What is the difference between get a fields method, get a declared fields method? Very simple. Get a fields method can be used to get a all the public variables metadata which are available in the respective class that is employee class and available in the super class of the employee class. If any super class is available for employee class, inside the super class, if any public members are available, public variables are available, the super class public variables as well as employee class public variables both will be written in the form of field array. Only public members metadata only we are able to get by using get to fields method. Next one, get to declared fields method. This method can be used to get any type of variable, all the variables metadata irrespective of the public. All the variables metadata we are able to get in the form of field array which are declared in the respective class, not from the sober class. In the case of get to declared fields method, we are not going to get data from the sober class. Just we are going to get only variables metadata which are available in the corresponding class, in the respective class and irrespective of the public, whether that variables are declared as public or not. By using either of these methods, we are able to get which one? Field array. Once we are getting data in the form of field array, then we are able to use some predefined methods to get a data of that each and every field. Now here, if you want to get name of the field, here we need to use which method we know? Public string get name method we need to use. This is one method. I want to get name of the variable so that we need to use public string get name method. Next one, I want to get data type of the variable. For the purpose, we need to go for 
public class get a type method we need to use this method get a type method automatically we are able to get data type of the respective variable next one i want to get value of the respective variable if you want to get value of the respective variable we have to use a method that method is which one public like a static not static public now here we need to identify like which value can know xxx and get method of we need to provide field reference field f we need to provide here xxx may be byte comma or short comma anything what exactly value we are going to get here respect to value we are able to provide some common data type we are able to provide right next one if you want to get access modifiers list of the respective variable as usual procedure first we need to use which one you know in the i is equal to f dot get modifiers get modifiers method next one string s is equal to modifier dot dot modifier dot static two string method that means two string of i variable we need to pass automatically modifiers list we are able to get the overall these are the various methods we are going to use to get details about this particular field here all the fields information so first we need to get class object after getting class object we need to get all the fields uh, variables metadata in the form of fields array for the purpose we need to use either of these methods get a fields method get a declared fields method if you want to get name of the field we need to use get name method if you want to get type of the field we need to use get type method if you want to get value of the method we need to use get method then after that if you want to get access modifiers of the fields we need to use which one do you know directly get a modifiers method it will return an integer value if you pass that integer value as parameter to static to string method of modifier class then it will return string display that string here now that's all this is these are the various methods which are available inside this which one now field class in order to get information about a particular field now i want to go for this particular example then practically let us see this one now previously we have taken employee class no in employee class i want to have small changes there right i don't require just public class employee i want to do i don't require remaining interfaces and all the things no just here i want to declare some variables public and uh, static public static int employee number is equal to 111 next one static string e name is equal to Let's say, for example, Durga. Next one, static. Before that, public static string employee address is equal to Hyderabad. Like this, I provided that. This is about my class employee. I want to get this employee class metadata by using our reflection API. So I need to go for test class now. In a test class, previously some content we provided there, class information we provided. this i want to i don't require this class information i want to get fields information understand it now now in service main method import java dot lang dot reflect dot store class test public static void main string array alt throws exception now in service i want to get class object for the respective employee previously we have used class dot for name method now i want to use second approach to get a class object so i need to create which object there no employee e is equal to new employee employee object we prepared next one class c is equal to e dot and get a class method i want to use finally we are getting class object after getting class object i want to get all the variables of the respective class which are available inside this employee class so for the purpose we need to use field array fldes is equal to we need to use c dot which we will here we need to provide you know get a declared fields method get a declared fields method i don't require fields information public fields information from super class and corresponding class now just i want to provide only the methods which are available only the variables which are available inside the employee class now that's why we use c dot get a declared fields method Now it will return all the fields information metadata in the form of fields objects, which are available in the form of which one field array. 
After getting the data in the form of field array, easily we can identify, we can get data from this field array. So for the purpose, I will take for each loop now. Now here, field F colon FLDS, we are able to provide. Now inside this field array, this I want to get name of the field at each and every time, so that system dot out dot print and off name variable, that means variable name, here variable name is which one, we need to call f dot get name method that we need to provide. Then after this f dot get name method, I want to get which one there, directly system dot out dot print and off, I want to get data type, data type of that each and every variable. I want to get it. So for the purpose, we need to go for one method. That method is which one? F dot get a type method. This get a type method will return class object, the type name, and that we need to access which method they know, get name method. Automatically get a type information we are able to get. After getting this uh, name of the variable, data type of the variable, I want to get access modifier of the variable then. So for the purpose, I need to go for int i is equal to f dot get a modifiers method. Whenever we are getting get modifiers method, then immediately we are able to display that value. Now here, access modifiers, where we need to provide modifier dot to string of i value we need to provide. By this we are able to get access modifiers information. After getting this access modifiers information, just I need to go for I want to get which one directly, value of the respective variable, value I want to get. For the purpose we need to use f dot get of f, get of f in a sense field, field we need to provide directly, f dot get of f. By this we are able to provide all the, all the metadata of the respective variables, everything we provided clearly. Next one, next one now this is the total information what you are going to get about our field class there, we can understand it. First employee object, from this employee object, class object we are getting, from class object we are getting field array, from this field array we are getting all the data and we are able to display all the details clearly. Now let me compare and execute it now. Java C, store.java, all the Java files are compiled, Java test, we can identify some data now. Overall three variables are available, all the three variables metadata we are getting. First variable, name is ENO, data type is integer, access modifiers are which one, public and static, value is 111. Second variable is ename, data type is java.lang.string, access modifiers are static, value is Durga. Next one is EADR variable, data type is java.lang.string, access modifiers are public and static, value is hydrobatch. Now this is a way to get all the variables information clearly. This is one approach we need to identify. After getting all the variables information, now I want to get methods details. If you want to get method details, for example, I am going to do class employee, where here I am going to provide public watch add method here int envo comma string ename comma string eldr some implementation implementation is not mandatory in the case of reflection API because we are getting only metadata of the respective methods public string for example search int employee number now here just we are going to return some value success or failure whatever it may be next one public string delete there also into envo I am going to take now here inside is return success for example so in class employee, I have taken three methods. My requirement is, I want to get information about all the three methods programmatically. I want to access them. To access information about all the three methods programmatically, first we need to get class object with respect to employee. That is step number one. We need to get a class object. Any approach we can use to get this class object, class C is equal to, directly we can use which one they know, employee dot class semicolon after getting class object 
I want to get all the methods information in the form of field array. So for the purpose we need to use again two methods here. First one is which one? Method array mth is equal to mthd method is equal to we need to provide c dot get a methods and methods. This is one thing. Get a methods method. Another one is which one? Method array mth d is equal to c dot get a declared methods. Get a declared methods. This is another one. What is the difference between get a methods method and get a declared methods method? It is same as get a fields method, get a declared fields method. Get a methods method can be used to get only public methods of the respective class and as well as super class of the respective class. Only public members were able to get from the respective class and as well as from super class then. But a get a declared methods method can be used to get only the methods of the respective class irrespective of the public not from the sober class. So mainly we are going to use get a declared methods we are going to use that one. Next one. After getting this method array, after getting method array, I want to get details about this method. First, I want to get name of the method. So we need to use string name is equal to m dot m in the sense method object reference get name method we need to use. This is one method get name method to get name of the method. Next one, I want to get written type of the method. To get written type of the method, we need to use class type is equal to m dot get a written type method. Get a written type method. By using this, we are able to get written type of the method in the form of class. Next one, I want to get access modifiers of the respective method. Access modifiers, we are able to get as usual. And type is equal to m dot get a modifiers method m dot get modifiers method and next one is which one string modifiers is equal to modifier dot to string of i we need to pass automatically modifiers list we are able to get after getting all these modifiers list now next one i want to get parameter types i want to get clearly parameter types to get the parameter types, here we need to use a method. That method is class array CL is equal to m dot get a parameter types. Method is available. Get a parameter types method. By using this method, we are able to get only parameter types, not the names of the parameters. Another method. I want to get all the throws exception types. If you want to get all the throws exceptions types now, we need to use class array cl is equal to m dot get the exception types. Get the exception types is a method. By using this, we are able to get all the exceptions details in the form of class array. So these are the various methods we are going to use to get information about our methods. First, we need to get class object. Next, we need to get all the methods metadata in the form of method array. After getting data from method array, by retrieving method objects from method array, get the name of the method by using get name method, get written type of the method by using get written type method, and get uh, access modifiers information by using get modifiers method, and get all the parameter types in the form of class array by using get parameter types method, get all the exception types method to get uh, all the exception details in the form of class array. Overall, these are the various methods we are going to use to get all the details of the respective methods clearly. Right?